Welcome back everybody to some more Outlast. It's the Drone Kid 92 here, and last we left off, we got kabloated and thrown out one of those by an explosion, and we landed on this giant pile of bodies. <laughs> so, I got hide under there. Good to know. Good to know. So, yeah, hopefully. Hello. Hopefully, we can find a way. Oh. Find our way around. Do you have a battery in your lap? Or is that just your belt? That's ah, your belt. Find our way out of here. see me. Come on, battery. You can handle it. Okay, reload. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Out for batteries. Nothing. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Shit. That's a pig. Little pig, what? Little pig, nothing. Is he coming up here? Oh, fuck. No! Run, 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 run. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, no. No. Uh, this way. Go, 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 go! Uh, oh! 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 Battery? Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh! Holy shit! What? Uh, oh, ooh, up here. Up here. 
go, 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 go. Huh? Get away from this crazy fucking uh, guy. Uh, Shut the fuck up. There's no nurse. Don't, don't do it. Fucking stay there. No oh, shit! <laughs> Get off of me! Oh shit! <laughs> that was awesome. Don't, don't do it. Don't grab me. Don't do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for not. Jump. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. It's in here. Oh, we got a file. No, no, no. Dude. Okay. What do we got? Rudolf G. Vernick. Dr. Rudolf G. Vernick, age 90, passed away during the work doing the work he loved on February 28th, 2009. He was born in 1918 um, in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communities for a paper written with early computing engineer Alan Turing. After a cloudy history of the German war effort, he emigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Vernick retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. Uh, he came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Vernick a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Okay. Nothing. I need batteries, dude. Like hardcore. Oh, up there. I want to help you. Sure you do. Okay. Okay, crazy guy. Okay. Ah, I need batteries so hard. What up, dog? Fuck. Oh, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, reload the camera. Oh. Okay. Damn it. Stay there. Stay there. I'm just afraid of you are. Uh, I'm just afraid of you are. I'm just afraid of you as you are of me. Pink swear. Batteries. Ooh! Battery! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. And then down we go. Shit out of me. No. Okay, so I can hide in there. Alright. Where's Scribble? Wall Rider. The word Wall Rider is all over this place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider, but the patients talk about Wall Rider like it's a physical presence, spirit, or demon, something they found in the mountain. Chalked up the schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera, maybe this place is getting to me. Hmm. I didn't see anything. Yikes. Apparently, Wall Rider's pretty popular. This reminds me of, like, marker shit from Dead Space. Hello? Come on. Where does that go? Okay. Okay, I'm good. Hello? Battery! Yeah! Fuck 
yeah. Fuck you. Alright, but I'm going. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Christ, fucking objective noise. <laughs> oh my god, it scared the shit out of me. Ooh, saving. Alright. I know this is probably like a shorter episode, but it seems like a pretty good place to call it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, join me next time. Some more Outlast. Bada boom, bada bing.